Frank McGlynn joins me here. Uh, it's been a wonderful day so far. What a turnout here in McCool Park, Frank. And it's, it's all for one reason, that we're in another All-Ireland final. I was just saying to you there, I was close to you as you came off the pitch last Sunday. And you're, you're a cool kind of a character anyway, but uh, the look on your face said a lot for me. Yeah, that was probably one of the most emotional days. What was, you know, the, the shaky start, you know, and the turn it around. So, um, you know, uh, won so emphatically, you know, against a Dublin team, you know, that was, you know, tipped for a double All Ireland back to back, the first one ever, and maybe three to four, you know, and a team that was said to be unbeatable by many. But um, we knew ourselves, you know, going into the game that we, we weren't going to be far away with the work that we'd done and the work that we'd done for the whole year. And, that the plan was to, to give the All Ireland series a great rattle after the Ulster victory, and we're just glad in the day. You know the, the small things worked out on our side, and the goals were crucial scores, and we were the team to get them. Yeah. At seven two and nine four, were you concerned, uh, Frank? Because they weren't really working their way through us, but they were taking points from far out. Yeah, that's it. I suppose any uh, every shot they got, you know, they, they made good use of it. They and had some fantastic scores and I suppose at the stage when you're on the pitch you don't really you don't really be worried you know but there's stages of the game where you think to yourself god we need the next score you know and those stages were there in the game and you know lucky enough for ourselves Christy came on as a sub you know we, we pushed on and we got two in a row back to back and then we we got the goal you know to get ourselves under the lead you know so it was a massive a massive turnaround so it was from the first 20 to the 35th minute and as we've done so often, the first quarter of the second half with Ryan's second goal and then Colm Anthony knocking in that third goal to give us an eight-point lead. It's never over till it's over, Frank, but at that stage, sitting watching the sideline, I thought, we're through to the All-Ireland final here. Yeah, I suppose it, it wasn't a thought that was in my head. You know, it was, it was, uh, to say it was a six-point victory, it didn't feel like a six-point victory when you, when you were on the pitch with yeah. Dublin. were putting us under pressure, you know, and you had to be always on your toes and ready because we knew a goal at any stage with a six-point lead, you know, it was a, was a dangerous lead to have against a team like Dublin. But certainly that first ten minutes period in the second half, and I think we started off, we could have had two points on the board before we even scored at all. Um, so it was a it was a real purple patch for us, and you know we're lucky enough that we did take the chances that came our way. Yeah. Well, one of the scores of the All Ireland semi final two years against Cork was Frank McGlynn coming up the pitch and scoring of his left foot. I remember it very well. I got very excited on commentary about it. This year was watching you plow up, and they showed it on TV very well, where at the ground you made to get up there, Frank, and and tap the ball over the bar. A great thrill for you. Yeah, it was. It's always nice to you know to score in Crow Park at any time, but. You know, against against the favourites like Dublin for the All Ireland and you know All Ireland champions of last year. You know, it, it doesn't get much better. We're just glad it took a while for the ball to come to me. I thought Patrick wasn't going <laughs> to give it to me, but you know he timed it perfectly, so he did. You know, and yeah. the, the space was there for me to run into. Then, so it was a it was a simple enough finish in the end. Of. Yeah. You've played over 100 games, Frank, this year, uh, got that milestone out of the way. You're going to now to your second All Ireland final in, in three years. That means you've played 100 games, you've been around a long time. Could you have ever thought in your wildest dreams you'd have three Ulster titles and going for your second All-Ireland in such a short period? You know, not, not in such a short period. And, and to be honest, you know, when I started in 2006, those those targets probably weren't in my head you know, until until in recent years, until Jim took over four years ago. And you know, those targets you know, started to become a reality, you know, bit by bit. You know. And even at the start of the year, on Jim's first year, the probably the players probably weren't thinking about winning all Ireland and Ulster titles. But the more we got to know Jim and the system and, and the plans he had for us, you know, the more we believed in it. And we're just glad that you know we do have a group of players, you know, and some very very good players as well, all at the one time. And when you look around the team, there's experience everywhere. So there is, you know, there's a lot of men that have hundred games under their belts. So there is, and a lot of a lot of young players too coming through that have. You know, under 21 final, you know, experience and Ulster titles in their back pockets too. So, it all bodes well for for this year and for following years to come. Let's talk about Kerry. I mean, the Kingdom and an All Ireland final. We've become used to growing up and seeing them. And you're a lot younger than me, Frank. You would have seen it over the years as well. Maybe haven't been as successful in recent years as they would have been back when I was watching them first. But they're still the formidable opposition, and they showed against Mayo in the two matches. They won't be easy to beat. Yeah, that's I suppose a lot of people would have thought. You know they missed the boat in the first the first game against me. you know, but they showed down Limerick last week that you know they're a team you know that's that's going to have to be watched. Um, they look to have a lot of freshness back in the legs. You know, even the so-called older players in the yeah. o on the team you know stood up and Mark O'Shea and Aidan O'Mahony were vital leaders for them. And, you know, they did a serious game in midfield with you know Andy Morton and Anthony Maher. You know, they're going very well. And I suppose if you look back at Kerry, you know, while they haven't won an All Ireland in a few years, you know, every year they've been bit, there's been narrow margins and they've always played well, you know, they've never come to Crow Park and played a poor game yet. So we know we know what's in store for us and we know what to expect from them. Yeah. 
with that experience we bring in, and particularly with the last few years, Frank, with all these Ulster finals and being in all Ireland semi finals, that'll stand well to Donegal as well. Oh, of course it will. You know we've had you know a couple of great runs already. You know through 2012 and even 2011. You know you look back to the Kildare games and while the Dublin semi final we didn't want. You know it was still it was still a good performance in Crow Park. You know and it was huge changes compared to 2009 when you were going up to Crow Park and maybe you know getting bit the likes of Cork getting bit heavily. You know. So you know it's always it's always good and every every day you go to Crow Park and one you know it builds the confidence on your on your next return. But as I say, at the Crow Park I don't think it'll be a factor you know on, on either side. You know, because Kerry have plenty of experience there and they enjoy playing there, so it, it's going to be on the day just something to look forward to. Uh, definitely, as you know, it's, a, it's fantastic to come to these days. You know, people keep saying you must be tortured, but you know I'd rather be here pr- doing a, doing an open day before the All Ireland final than you know sitting at home and not involved in the championship. We're glad to be here too. Thank, thanks for talking to us. Thank you very much, Charlie. Thank you.